Well, this is what I uh, shot interviews on here this morning. We got two buckets, uh, my camera case, a uh, Joby, uh, a bunch of rocks. So, big day, putting about 20 miles on the water, day seven. This is kind of the crucial setup here, 120 watt panel, going into a 500 watt generator down in there, charging a grip of GoPros, the workhorse of keeping power for a 24 day trip. One of the biggest challenges on this trip was keeping all the footage organized. Quick allowed me to utilize features such as Mural to keep all of my favorite moments in one location. Quick's support with unlimited cloud storage made it super easy to keep all of my favorite moments in one place, regardless of the device I captured it on. Drones are very legal in the Grand Canyon, so we had to figure out a solution how to get a drone-like shot without actually using a drone. So what we're doing, we're gonna use a 360 GoPro Max and about a 25 foot painting pole. Make sure your camera's on. Yeah, we are rolling. Send her to the sky. Using my 360 Max footage in Quick was super easy. I used the reframe tool to go in, set my keyframes, and come away with some amazing 360 content. Quick also gave me access to GoPro original music. This made it easy to select a track that I liked, as well as play with features such as the multi-speed tool to identify clips that I knew I wanted to be in slow motion. So you want a photo, but you only shot video. Save a frame from any of your footage. Scrub through the clip, select the frame you want to use, and export it. My favorite part of Quick is how easy it is to share to social. Set your keyframes, dial in your edits, and share away. Try to take in the beauty at the same time. It can be very difficult. And hopefully they come away that the beauty is more than the difficulty. Cut it out, Sean, you rascal. Bad hair day. <laughs> You're not gonna use this, right? 